Have you ever wondered about the mysterious equation that could potentially revolutionize our world or bring about its end? Welcome to the enigma of P equals sign NP. In the realm of computer science and mathematics, P and NP represent two categories of problems. P refers to those problems that can be solved efficiently in what we call polynomial time. NP, on the other hand, encapsulates problems where solutions can be checked quickly, also in polynomial time. It's important to note that all P problems are also NP, but we're not sure if the reverse is true. This conundrum, whether P equals NP, is one of the most significant unanswered questions in computer science. It's not just about solving problems, it's about the limits of our computational capabilities. So, P equals sign NP is a question about the limits of what computers can do. It's a question about the nature of efficiency, complexity, and the universe itself. Now imagine a world where P equals NP. What would that look like? A question that has been the subject of intense debate among computer scientists and mathematicians for decades. If P equals NP, it would be like discovering a secret portal, a shortcut through the labyrinth of complex problems we currently struggle with. Suddenly, the most intricate optimization issues in logistics, finance and science that seemed insurmountable would be efficiently solvable. A revolution in problem solving that could drive unprecedented advancements in our technology driven world. Imagine solving protein folding mysteries to expedite drug discovery or optimizing traffic systems to eliminate congestion. The possibilities are mind boggling, but with every revolution comes an upheaval. The same breakthrough that could propel us into a new era of innovation could also throw open the doors to a world of increased vulnerability. The encryption methods we rely on to secure our data, our financial transactions, our entire digital life could be cracked open with ease. In our interconnected world, where data is the new gold, imagine the consequences of such a breach. Cybersecurity threats would skyrocket, resulting in a potential digital pandemonium. Financial systems could be destabilized, private communications could be intercepted, and national security could be compromised. It's like a double-edged sword. On one side lies the promise of groundbreaking innovation. On the other, the threat of unparalleled vulnerability. It's a delicate balance. The same knowledge that could lead us to rapid progress could also plunge us into chaos if not handled responsibly. So the question isn't just mathematical, it's philosophical, ethical, and societal. It's about how we navigate the path of progress while safeguarding our systems, our privacy, and our world. So, a world where P equals NP would be a world transformed. A world of accelerated innovation and increased vulnerability. The question is, are we ready for such a world? Are we prepared to handle the power and the peril that comes with it? Only time will tell. But what if P does not equal NP? What would that mean for us? Well, in simple terms, it would mean that our current understanding of computational difficulty and complexity stands firm. The problems that we consider hard would indeed remain hard. The easy ones would still be, well, easy. This scenario would be a kind of reassurance, a confirmation that the world of computer science as we know it is on the right track. It would mean that our encryption methods, the ones we rely on to keep our data secure, continue to hold strong. The structures we've built to protect our financial transactions, our private communications and our national security would remain robust. But it's not all rosy. If P does not equal NP, it also implies that many complex problems will continue to be just that, complex. The solutions to these problems will remain elusive, requiring significant computational resources and time to solve. The promise of a quick and efficient solution would be off the table. Consider, for instance, the logistics industry. The optimal routing of delivery trucks, the most efficient scheduling of flights, the best allocation of resources. These are all instances of NP problems. If P does not equal NP, these problems will continue to demand substantial computational power and time. The same goes for other fields like finance, where portfolio optimization is a classic NP problem, or in bioinformatics, where predicting protein folding is another. The list goes on and on, spanning across industries and disciplines. In essence, if P does not equal NP, it would mean that we are where we thought we were. Our understanding of computational complexity would remain intact. Our encryption methods would stay secure, but many complex problems would continue to challenge us. Whether P equals NP or not, 
The quest to solve this enigma continues to drive progress in computer science, pushing the boundaries of what we know and what we can achieve. The pursuit of this answer, regardless of its outcome, fuels innovation, propels research, and fosters progress, and that in itself is a thrilling ride to be on. So, what have we learned from this exploration of P equals sign NP? Well, P equals sign NP is a profound unsolved question in computer science and mathematics. If proven, it could revolutionize industries, but also pose significant security risks. It's a question that continues to challenge our understanding of computational complexity. The enigma of P equals sign NP is more than just a math problem. It's a question about the future of our world, a question that challenges us to continue exploring, learning and pushing the boundaries of possibility.